Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on multiplying whole numbers by 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, etc. And the only thing you need to know here is that when you times by 10, 1000, etc, however many zeros are on the end of that one there is how many zeros you're going to put on the end of this number. So here we can see on the end of that one we've got one zero, so therefore we're going to put one zero on the end of that two three. So that just becomes two three with one zero like that. So we have 230. And the reason that it works is that if we consider times in by 10, at the moment, the three is the units digit, and this is the tens digit. And notice that 10 is 10 times bigger than the units digit. So that's 10 times bigger. So that means when we times by 10, the units digit of three becomes the tens digit. So that three becomes the tens digit. And then that tens digit of two, well, if it's a tens digit, if you times by 10, that then becomes the hundreds digit. So that tens digit of two then becomes the hundreds digit. So we've got 200, three tens, and we've now got no units. So we can see we get 230. That's why it works. What about this one? Well, we've got three zeros on the end of that one, and therefore we put three zeros on the end of that number. So 437, zero, 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 three zeros. And usually when we're writing big numbers, every three digits from the right, we put a comma there. So one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, what's the end of the number? So we don't need another comma.